Hey there, welcome to your weekly live core flow class here on Patreon with me, Carol. For today's class, we're going to be focusing on some deep core abdominal work and then some nice, gentle, slow flow. So go ahead, come down onto your mat, lay down, and we'll get started. So coming onto the back, let's lengthen the legs. Allow your arms to just relax down by your sides, close the eyes if you'd like. And then wiggle around and settle in. Get comfy. And we're going to take three big grounding breaths to begin class. So inhale through your nose, fill your belly. Sigh the breath out. Again, inhale through the nose, fill your belly, your lungs. Sigh the breath out. One more, inhale, full expansion. Sigh it out. And then begin to welcome your natural breath back. And allow yourself a moment to become fully aware of your breath. By that, I just mean notice your breath. Notice the sensation of the cool air as it enters your nostrils travels down the back of your throat, deep into your lungs. And then notice a gentle sinking and softening sensation as the breath leaves you. And notice the gentle rise and fall of your belly and your chest. That rhythmical wave-like motion that your body instinctively knows how to do. Your body just knows how to breathe. And continue to pay close attention to your breath. Let your breath be your anchor, something to focus on as we move through class today. Breathing in, breathing out. Take a deep breath in once again, fill your belly, your lungs. Let it go. And on your next inhale, we'll lengthen the legs, we'll reach the arms all the way up and overhead, let them come to the ground, full body stretch. Exhale to soften in place, the feet fall apart, the shoulders drop down. Inhale to lengthen and to reach. Exhale to soften. One more, inhale, full body stretch. And on this exhale, bring the knees into the chest and give them a great big hug. Draw them in nice and close. And let's begin to circle the knees in one direction. Just slowly and gently warming the core, warming the body. Even enjoying this massage on the low back. And send your circles the other way. And bring your knees all the way back into center. On your next inhale, curl up, nose to knees. 
and then exhale, bring the head down onto the mat. And again, curl up, nose to knees. And exhale, bring your head down onto the mat. Go ahead and hold on to the back of your thighs. Take a deep breath in here. Big breath out. And on your next inhale, extend your legs and flex your feet. And then exhale, knees right back into chest. Inhale, extend and flex. Exhale, knees come in. One more. Inhale, extend and flex. And then draw the knees back in. Let's add on. Inhale, extend, flex, curl up. Exhale, everything down. Two more. Inhale, extend, flex, curl. Everything down on the exhale. Last one. Inhale, extend, flex, curl. Exhale, everything comes down. And rock it out. A little bit from side to side. Okay, back into center. Right foot to the mat, left leg extending to the ceiling. Support your left leg. Point and flex the foot a couple of times. Point and flex. Then toes are going to point, we're going to walk hands up the back of the left leg, lift on up, nose to knee, three big breaths. Your count. But on your third exhale, we're going to bring everything down, so knee in, head down. Give it a squeeze. And then bring the foot down, switch it up, other side, support the back of the thigh, point and flex, point and flex. And then toes point, walk your hands up the back of the leg, lift on up, nose to knee, three big breaths at your count. And on that third exhale, we're going to bring it all back down. Give it a big squeeze and drop it down to the mat. Okay, let's do this. Some core exercises. So I'm going to give you some modifications or variations for the first exercise. To begin, we'll interlace the hands, bring it to the back of the head. So the first variation of this exercise is we're going to curl on up, peel the upper back away from the mat to the base of the shoulder blades. Legs squeeze together and draw knees into chest. So it's a little push and a little pull, but we can adjust this by bringing the head down if we prefer and palms down to the mat. And then we push and we pull. Thighs are squeezing together. Ankles are squeezing together. Push and pull it back in. So wherever you're at, set it up. We're going for 10. That navel drawing into spine. Engage that core. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring in. That's one. Flex the feet. That's halfway. Make sure you're pushing through the heels. Two more, I think. We'll go for two. One, two. Bring it in, winding pose. Hug it in. Maybe add a little rock because it feels nice. Deep breaths. Okay, straight on in. Next exercise. Same thing. We can add a curl here. It's double legs once again. Double leg lift or lower. So feet beside each other or legs beside each other squeezing. We drop down and we bring back up. If you want to modify this one leg at a time, you can. We'll go for 10, so it will be five on either side. Wherever you're at. Remember, this curl is an addition. Bring your head to the mat if you'd like. Let's go for 10. We exhale to drop and we inhale to lift. So take a deep breath in to prepare and go. Strong core. Belly to spine. That's halfway. See, so easy. We got this. One more. Bring it in. Winding pose. Hug it in. Little rock. Deep breaths. Next exercise. 
hands will be coming down by our sides. We're doing a reverse crunch. So for this, both legs extend and you drop the legs down, not as far as we did in that double leg lift. Then we bring the legs up and over and we want to kind of booty pop here, a little reverse crunch, lift it up, slowly lower the lower back to the mat or bend your knees, draw them in towards you. So the lower back lifts and bring it back down. Okay, 10 of those. Wherever you're at, let's get started. It's the exhale as we lift. Inhale down. Halfway. One more. And you know where we're going, winding pose. Give it a hug, big breath in, let it go. Again, big breath in and let it go. So that whole thing, one more time. Let's get started. To begin, push pull. So if you're coming into your curl, curl on up, support your head, draw your navel to your spine, Go for 10. Squeeze those legs. Halfway. Two more. Then we're gonna bring it right in, last one, to our double leg lift. So keep that curl. If you're curling, legs extend or take it into single, five either side, on you go. You're halfway, switch if you're single leg. Please. Two more. Last one. And you know where you're going. Reverse your crunch. So little dip, then up and pop. Bring it down. Little dip, come up and pop. Bend the knees if you want. Sort of a kinder to the low back. That's halfway. These are so good for those lower abdominals. One more. And now take winding pose. Whew, big breath. Let it go. Circle the knees. A little bit one way, a little bit the other way. Awesome. Okay, draw those knees in. Hold on to the back of the thighs. Rock and roll and come right on up and then bring it over onto your knees because we're going to go through two rounds of a kneeling sun salutation, then do a little bit more core. So kneeling sun salutation, sit on your heels, you're kneeling. From here, inhale, rise, reach arms, palms meet, gaze up, and then exhale, puppy dog. So hands come to the mat, our forehead and our chest drop down, but our seat stays up. Take a couple of breaths here. Melting down towards the mat. Inhale, exhale. Now inhale, draw the hands towards you and bring it into a cat. Round your back, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, tuck toes. Lift your hips up and back, down dog. Let's breathe, inhale. Exhale, settle in. Inhale. Exhale, soften your knees, lift those hips up and back. Inhale. Exhale, relax your neck. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, drop your knees, bring it to cat, round the back. And exhale, puppy dog, so walk those hands forward. Chest and forehead melt down, seat up, breathe. 
And on the next inhale, come back to your knees. Nice and tall, reach the arms. Palms meet and exhale, seat to heels. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, puppy dog. Inhale, cat, round your back. Exhale, down dog, hips up and back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, soften your neck. Inhale. Exhale, press and lift the hips. Inhale, drop knees, cat, rounded back. Exhale, puppy dog, forehead and chest come down, hands moving forward. And inhale, rise on up. Palms meet above the head. Exhale, seat to heels. And take a breath in and out. Come to tabletop, all fours, hands and knees. Tuck your toes, send your seat up and back, down dog. Okay, let's go through another little strengthening core sequence, deep core abdominal work, and then we'll just flow it out after. So from here, downward facing dog, knee taps. That's gonna look like this. You'll be in your down dog, and then we're just gonna tap the knees down, tap the knees down as the weight shifts forward, and then back up into down dog. It might also look like this, just a little bend, and then press the hips up and back. Both are awesome. So set where you are today. We're going for 10. Breathe in here. Exhale, tap. And then inhale, down dog. Exhale, tap. Inhale, down dog. Keep it strong. That's three. Navel's drawing to spine. That's four. We're almost halfway. That's five. Only five to go. Two more. And one more. And then lift it up and back, down dog. So that's also great work for the shoulders, great mobility work. Walk it out. Pedal those feet. Hold your downward dog. And then shift the weight forward and drop the knees down. Next little sequence. Floating table to plank. So tucking the toes, we will be hovering the knees and then stepping one leg back, followed by the other to plank and bringing it back in, floating table. Modification. Keep the knees to the mat, but shift the weight forward so we're more in a supported plank, upper body strength, and then lengthen, lengthen, drop, drop. So set where you're at, get ready, engage your core, big breath in, and if we're floating, exhale, engage, and float the knees, table. And inhale, right leg back, left leg back, exhale, right leg in, left leg in, again. And that's five on this side, float your table, other side, left leads, then right, left in, right in. Strong core, keep pressing evenly through the palms. One more round, left, right, left, right. Now press, hips lift up and back, down dog, resting pose, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Let's put all of that together. First variation. You will transfer your weight into floating table. So the knees begin to come down and we shift the weight forward. We're floating our table. Push to plank, up and back, down dog. Next variation. From your down dog, knees drop. Supported plank as weight comes forward. Send it back through child pose, up and back, down dog. So set where you're at, get ready, big breath in, exhale, knees down, flat. 
float the table. Inhale plank, exhale up and back, down dog. Let's keep going for 10. Two. Three, keep it strong, push to plank, up and back, four. Keep pressing evenly through the palms, keep your belly drawing to your spine, keep your core strong the whole time. Okay, four more. Two more. And last one. Keep it strong. Up and back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, drop knees. Toes together. Knees really wide. Seat to heels. Child pose. Flip your palms over so that they're facing up to the ceiling, forehead down. And then just make a fist and squeeze your fist to your forearm. And release. Always important to come back to the wrists. They do a lot of work for us. We want to make sure we're taking care of them. You can circle the wrists if you like. Whatever you need to do. And then when you're ready, just settle. Make sure you're drawing your hands towards you so that your shoulders can soften on the back. Take a few breaths. One more inhale, and let it go, and then lift your head just a wee bit and walk it around to the right, let's take a nice side stretch, lean into that left hip, and then walk it around to the left as you lean into your right hip. And come back to center. Palms extending out in front. We're going to press through the palms. We're going to draw up table, knees right underneath the hips once again. Tuck your toes, seat up, back, down dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees just a little, gaze forward and walk it in, forward fold. Remember your knees can be soft in your forward fold and your head's relaxed, your neck is relaxed, your shoulders are relaxed. We're hanging out here and enjoying it. Deep breaths. Add a little sway if you'd like, it does feel nice. And we'll take a little twist. So come to center and then walk on fingertip outside of your right foot. Here your right knee bends, but your left leg is nice and long. Keep pressing evenly through both feet. You're gonna feel this along the outside of the left leg and the left hip, deep breaths. And then we're going to soften both knees, walk through center around to the outside of your left foot. So here the left knee's bent and the right leg becomes nice and straight. Again, press evenly through the feet, deepen the breath. Bend both knees, come back into center, forward fold. Now find a half fold or a flat back. So lengthen the legs, we can bring hands to shins, roll shoulders from ears. Big breath in, exhale, forward fold fully, soften the knees a little, and then sweep the arms, gently come all the way up to rise, reach, and pull it down. Release your hands, Tadasana, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands down through heart center. And Tadasana. Deep breath in. And out. From here, step your left foot back for a warrior one. So warrior one, both feet flat to the mat. Toes facing towards the top edge or the short edge of your mat. We're going to bend into our right knee. Lengthen the spine, engage the core, navel to spine. Reach your arms all the way up and overhead and soften your shoulders. Settle in, relax a little. You're strong, but you're relaxed. Deep breaths. Couple 
couple more. Just settling into your warrior one. Building that strong foundation through the feet, reaching all the way up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands. We're going to sweep them down behind us. And then we're going to interlace to make a fist. As you inhale, you're going to pull that fist down to the ground, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, lift the gaze. There's a deep breath in, and as you exhale, fold inside of your right leg. You can choose for a little fold, or you can choose to go a little bit deeper. Hands can rest on the small of the back, or hands can reach for the sky. Yogi's choice. See what works. Deep breath. One more, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, release the arms, sweep them down by your sides, come on up, find warrior one. Once again, with that strong foundation that we built. Exhale, palms together, draw down through heart center. Inhale, lengthen right leg. Exhale, re-bend right knee. Inhale, lengthen right leg. Exhale, re-bend, right knee. Inhale, lengthen right leg. Exhale, hold straight leg. Reach your arms all the way up. Big breath in. Exhale, pyramid fold. So that might look like hands to hips and just coming with a flat back. Or we might walk our hands down the right leg. Lengthen the spine, dropping the head, nose to knee, even hands coming to the ground. Or on blocks here, either side of the foot, is a good variation as well. Micro bend to that right knee. Teeny tiny bend. Just make sure you're not locking out the right knee. Breathe. Shoulders relax. Inhale. Exhale, soften. And inhale, bend right knee. Then rise, once again, warrior one. Palms down to heart center. Step left foot forward. Tadasana, release your hands. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, hands through heart center. Tadasana. Other side, step the right foot back. So remember it's warrior one, both feet flat to the mat. Toes pointing to the Top of the mat, we're going to bend in to the left knee. Gauge your core, reach your arms, soften your shoulders. Settle into warrior one on this side. Again, we want to be strong warriors, but we want to be relaxed. You want to be pretty chill in your warrior one. So keep breathing. Create that strong foundation. And then take a deep breath in and exhale, bring your hands down behind you again, interlace your hands to make a fist. Root that fist down as you inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your gaze, lift your heart. Exhale, fold inside of left leg. Little fold, big fold, your choice. Hands resting, hands reaching, again, yogi's choice. Breathe, settle in. And on the next inhale, release the arms, sweep them down by your sides, rise on up through that strong foundation you've created. Exhale, palms together to heart center. Inhale, lengthen left leg. Exhale, rebend left knee. Inhale, lengthen left leg. Exhale, rebend left knee. Inhale, lengthen left leg. Exhale, hold straight leg. Reach arms up, big breath in. Exhale, fold for pyramid. So remember, that might be hands to hips with a flat back. Maybe it feels okay to go a little deeper, hands traveling down the left leg for support, or to blocks, or to the ground. Soften and relax the neck, nose to knee. Relax the shoulders, deep breath.
Big breath in. And out. Big breath in. Bend left knee. Strong foundation to rise. Warrior one. Exhale, palms meet down through heart center. Inhale, step to the top of the mat. And exhale, release to hands by the sides to back center. Big breath. Exhale. Release your hands by your sides. Tadasana. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half fold, flat back. Exhale, full fold. Plant your hands, step it back. Plank of choice. Knees up, knees down. You choose. Inhale, hold plank. Exhale, drop knees, chest, chin, hug elbows, inchworm. Inhale, slide forward, come up, cobra. Exhale, down. Inhale, push up table. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Hold. Breathe. Big breath in. And Inhale, extend right leg out behind you, not high, flex the foot, and then exhale, hug that right knee into your chest, hug it, hug it, hug it, and step your right foot down between your hands. Drop your back, left knee, Anjali Asana, low lunge. Reach your arms all the way up to the sky, and settle. So we're gonna drop the pelvis and rock the hips forward slightly. You'll feel that on the back left hip. Nice deep stretch. And I also want you to notice that this little sequence we're about to go through is very similar to the one we just did standing. So if you ever want to modify or adjust or just do something a little bit different, you can always drop it down to the knees. So inhale to reach and exhale, drop the hands behind you. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, root them down. Roll your shoulders, lift your chest and exhale, fold inside of right knee. Hands can rest, hands can reach. Your choice. Keep breathing. Then release the arms, sweep to rise. Anjali Asana. And exhale, fold, hands coming down to the ground. From here, we're going to send our hips back over the left knee as we lengthen the right leg. So a variation of our pyramid. Deep breaths. Big breath in. And as you exhale, rock the hips forward again, bend back into your right knee. Hands will plant down, tuck the toes on the back, left leg, lift that back knee, step your right foot back, down dog. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, extend your left leg out behind you, exhale, hug that left knee into your chest, hug it, hug it, hug it, hug it, and step it down between the hands. Drop your back knee, Anjali Asana on the other side, rise up, low lunge, settle in, soften the shoulders. Drop the pelvis, rock the hips forward slightly. So now we're feeling on the right hip. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale, the hands come down behind us. We're going to interlace, make a fist. Inhale, pull that fist, roll the shoulders, lift heart, lift gaze. And exhale, fold inside of left leg. Hands can rest, hands can reach. Keep breathing. Inhale to release the arms. Sweep as you rise. Anjali Asana. Exhale, fold. Hands either side of your left foot. So rock the hips back again. Now bring them over the right knee as you lengthen the left leg. Drop the head down, soften the shoulders and the arms. 
Remember, blocks can be great here to bring the ground a little bit closer to you. Breathing. And then big breath in. And exhale. Rock the hips forward, bend the back in, left knee. Tuck toes on the back right leg. Lift your back knee, step back. Down dog. Breathe. Five rounds of breath, inhale. Exhale, soften your knees a little. Inhale. Exhale, press evenly through the palms, lift the hips. Inhale. Exhale, relax your neck. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, drop your knees down to the mat, come to sitting on your heels once again, take a deep breath in and out, let's go into that kneeling sun salutation, two more rounds of that, so inhale, rise, palms meet, gaze up, Exhale, puppy dog pose, hands out in front, forehead, chest, melt down, seat up, inhale, draw hands towards you, round the spine, cat, exhale, tuck toes, hips up and back, down dog, inhale, exhale, inhale, drop knees, round the spine, cat, Exhale, walk hands out in front, melt the chest, puppy dog. Inhale, rise, arms up above. Exhale, seat to heels. One more, inhale, rise. Exhale, puppy dog, melt the chest. Inhale, draw hands in, round the spine, cat. Exhale, tuck toes, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, drop the knees around the spine, cat. Exhale, walk the hands out, melt the chest, puppy dog. Inhale, rise, reach the arms. Exhale, seat to heel. Breathe in, breathe out. And let's scoot our seat down, bring our feet out in front. Ground your sit bones. Remove any extra flesh if you need to and then lengthen out the legs. Press the heels down, but bend the knees a little bit. We're gonna slow this gently, gentle fold, slow this down. So inhale, reach tall, long spine. And then exhale as you fold it forward, take your hands and scoop them underneath that space you've created between the legs and the mat. And then give yourself a great big hug. And drop your head down. And just breathe. Deep, deep breath. And as you settle in here, if you want to, you can lengthen the legs a little bit. But keep giving yourself that nice big hug. Just taking a moment to appreciate everything your awesome body did for you today. Even just showing up on your mat and giving yourself this time. It's an awesome thing to do. So just appreciate that. And take a couple more rounds of breath here. Try to relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. And gently release your hands and draw them back towards you as you come up to sit nice and tall. Bring the feet up onto the mat and then we're just going to gently lower ourselves. We'll walk it down with our hands onto our back. All the way down. From here, let's stack our left leg in our figure four or recline pigeon. 
reach it around the right thigh, hug it in nice and close, and then extend the right leg today and flex the foot a little, not too much, just a little so that we can enjoy this stretch down the back of the right hamstring, as well as this nice stretch on the left side, the left hip. So breathe it in. Let your shoulders drop into the mat. Allow your arms to do a little bit of work here, drawing the legs towards you, but not too much pulling on your legs. Just kind of guiding them into place, not forcing them. Big breath in. And as you exhale, bend the right knee and release the legs, let the right foot come to the mat. Take your left leg, just lengthen it away, and then bring the foot down, and settle in for the other side. So stack your right side into your figure four, reach around your left thigh. Again, let's lengthen the left leg here. Flex the foot, and then just ease off that flex a little bit. Draw the legs in towards you, just that gentle nudge, but no forcing. Deep breaths. Big breath in. And exhale, bend the left knee. Release your legs, left foot coming down, right leg, lengthen it away, and step the right foot down. Arms wide, arms down, and then knees dropping to the left, and gaze over your right shoulder. Try to keep both shoulder blades down into the mat here as you come into your twist. And just give yourself a couple of rounds of breath, especially in your twists, because the longer you hold this, the more the body will start to release and soften into the pose. And you can encourage the body to let go of that tension by deepening the breath. So inhaling for a count of four, and then exhaling for a count of six. Two more, in for four, out for six. Again. And then inhale, knee center. Exhale, other side. Settle it in. Mm -hmm. And we'll take three rounds of that lengthened breath here. So inhale for four. Exhale for six. Again, in for four. Out for six. Last one. And bring it into center. Inhale. Give it a little rock from side to side. And then just lengthen your legs down to the bottom of the mat. Bring your hands to your belly. Adjust a little bit so that you can let your shoulders soften. Resting your hands on the belly here and just really becoming aware and noticing the breath. Once again, slowing your breath in for four. Out for six. Keep this cycle of breath going, encouraging your body to soften. As you bring your focus all the way down to your feet and relax, 
your toes. Relax your legs, soften your knees, let your hips grow heavy. Let your belly and your chest become soft. Allow your shoulders to drop down into the mat. Relax your arms all the way to the tips of your fingers. Let your jaw soften. Let all the muscles of your face soften. And allow your eyes to become heavy. Rest here. And breathe. Take another deep breath in, full expansion of the ribcage and belly. Sigh the breath out. Feel free to stay a little bit longer if you would like to. But when you feel ready, gently roll to your favorite side and just take a few moments there before you continue on with the rest of your day. Thank you for joining for your class today. Namaste.